Hello and welcome to another video from Alberta Bushcrafter. This is another one in the ever expanding series of camp kitchen and camp cooking videos. And this will be a brief one. This is about cutlery. Um, why would you do a video on cutlery you may ask? It's because not all cutlery is created alike. And so yeah, it's about these. You can get um, you, you can actually just, some people will just go and get knives and forks from the dollar store or just take the plastic knife and fork and spoon from the food court and, you know, that's okay. It works fine until it doesn't. And then when it doesn't, who knows, you're, you're out of luck. you got to go carve your own spoon or something, which is perfectly valid and many other people on other channels do that. But I like to carry half-decent cutlery in the field and more than that once again I always like to have things that have multiple uses and that's why I'm doing this video because if you get something like one of the chow kits you know the, the plate and bowl kits and whatever it will usually come with some cutlery and I know a lot of the ultralight backpackers and stuff um, they have one of two choices normally. They like to, and these are people who will, very often they'll saw the handle off a toothbrush to save an ounce of weight. Which to me is a little too much. You just grow stronger. But so yes. this is the kind of thing he would carry. This is what they call a GSI Tech Cutlery Set. And you'll get up close here. This is it. It's basic Lexan or polycarbonate cookware. Fairly strong. I find actually, oddly enough, the knife is pretty sharp. I've cut steak with this. A fairly tough steak at that. It's good. But yeah, this is your basic ultralight kit. And if it floats your boat and if you want to go super light, it'll do. But that's all it will do is help you eat food. The spoon's a okay size. You get something like the Cascadian kit here and it will come with these so these are the larger Lexan cutlery knife is not quite as sharp and again if that's what you want to carry this is only a little heavier and it does a great job for what it's made for normally with these though I have another use for them this is the lunchbox I take to work every day. And that's where these go. I find these are great for a lunch at work, but I don't carry them. One, because eventually they will. You know, it's almost inevitable, you're going to melt one of these. And not maybe not as quick as uh, you know the disposable cutlery, but you will melt one. I have done it. That's why I have several sets. Um, the other thing is, they're only good for that. They're only good for eating, more or less. They're not heavy duty. I'm going to show you a couple other options. First off, I'm going to say, um, yeah, this one's an old one. So this is... Fair bit smaller, but this is the Coglins Chow Kit, and these are just nesting. Well, this one's lost a little pin on it, but it's still got the other. But yeah, they fold up like that into one very nice compact package, so they're not rattling around. And they often come with this little El Cheapo vinyl sleeve. A lot of people say, well, you know, the benefit of that is, you know, they're only two bucks. Not entirely. Because now we're talking about these are metal. So you have a fork in a survival situation. For a lot of people say you can turn that into a small fishing spear or frog spear. The spoon can almost double. It's a very slow digging tool, but nonetheless it'll work. You can sharpen the knife up into a decent blade. These either come in stainless or carbon steel. So, 
Again, it's not a great stainless steel either. But this is the choice I like to go a bit more with. The choice I really like though is actually about as light, that's the funny thing, is these. These are the GSI stainless steel knife, fork, and spoon set. You can see they are a lot bigger. You know, they're a lot nicer too. This knife has a very good edge on it for a just for an eating knife. The fork, quite solid, a little smaller than I'd like, and not as sharp in the tips, but that could be remedied. And the spoon is a big spoon. I like that. So this is actually my go-to kit here. This is the one I carry with me all the time. The other nice thing is with these, take a look at the actual handles themselves. You can see they're full of holes. Yeah, that's to save weight. I'll take these any day because they do double duty. You know, there's many multiple uses for them uh, in case you need to. But they're also a very heavy, not heavy, but very heavy weight. Heavy duty, solid set of cutlery. So that's what I'll take here. Now people are going to ask for certain. Just a moment. Oh yeah. That's from my Sawyer water filter, by the way. And it's good stuff. People are going to ask, why are you not talking about titanium? Well, a couple of reasons. One, I've already got a lot of cutlery with me, and I don't need titanium. So there. Secondly, though, titanium is quite expensive. And really expensive. I mean, this is about eight bucks for this really excellent stainless steel titanium and that'll be about 20 or more but the other reason the third reason is that not just the price it's also i don't like titanium gear i've actually used a friend's set of titanium cutlery and it added a weird metallic taste to the soup so now I've, i wondered was it the pot so I actually put some in a stainless steel cup and sipped it. No, it was actually the titanium cook where some people have sort of a sensitivity reaction to it. And I find it makes the food taste kind of funny. And that's, you know, if you, you, one way to tell. I, I do not recommend doing this, but they've got a set in the camping store. I just go grab it off the shelf, put the spoon in your mouth. If it tastes metallic, you don't want to use titanium uh, cutlery. Okay, I, I forget I said that, but yeah. So that's why I don't talk about titanium. For me, you know, the GSI Glacier, Glacier I think it is, stainless steel uh, cutlery set is good enough. And that spoon, one last thing, that spoon is big enough and heavy enough, it will act as a trowel. It, it can actually dig quite well. So, again, multiple uses. All right, we've done this topic to death. So, you know, this is the Alberta Bushcrafter channel on YouTube. I want to thank you very much for watching. My name's Dean. Take care and good day.